I want to know how you use Slack and how often you effectively turn it off or you, you, you literally go dark yourself. In terms of this work-life balance, when you get home at night or yeah. on the weekends, how you think about it? Well, we are expert users of our own product, and so we've developed a whole bunch of conventions. I generally don't pay attention, unless I'm interested and I proactively go out and look at something, with the exception of someone specifically mentioning my name. If someone actually requires my attention, they'll let me know, and, and once that feeling of trust is established, then it's much easier to let go. I mean, I, over the Christmas break, I, I was quite a week without... Um, what a week without Slack. How about email? Uh, a week without email. I, would, I, was, I was checked out. One of the big conversations here in Dallas is work-life balance, mm -hmm. is the addictive nature oftentimes of technologies. Yeah. How do you think about that in the context of Slack, which, by the way, is very addictive? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and people come up to us and say that as a compliment. Like, so they mean, yes. it's so addictive. I'm not, yes. Which, which is, a, it's a very strange compliment to receive. So we think really carefully about this, and the interesting thing about Slack versus, um, let's say, Facebook uh, or Twitter, is that it's specifically designed for teams, right? So there's a group level dynamic which is distinct from the individual dynamic. And um, we hope that we're gonna make our customers long-term more effective. We don't get any incremental revenue if we make someone stick around for 10 minutes longer. Best piece of career advice you ever received and actually listened to? Make it harder that way. <sighs> yeah, the things that come to mind immediately are more leadership advice, so John Donahoe, who's the CEO of eBay, and now a company called ServiceNow, um, was at a dinner with him a couple years ago, and he said, the job of a leader when times uh, are good is to inject stress into the system, and when times are bad is to absorb it out of the system. And it took me a little while to figure out what he meant, but we're you know, a company that has been principally in good times since we launched. It's like kind of perfect timing, we have really great product market fit. And You're putting a lot of stress on people. I'm, I'm trying to inject that uh, uh, an appropriate amount of Healthy stress. Healthy amount of stress. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.